Hello, my name is Amina and I'm your decision making specialist. And today, wow, today is April 10th, day 25. Wow. So I don't know where you are. I'd like to. And I don't know how many days you've been in place in your confinement or your opportunity. And thank you so much for doing your part to help the numbers start to go down in some areas. They're going up in others. And the hope is that if you stay put, even when the weather starts to get better, that you can help bring your numbers down wherever you are too. So great job, great job. And in the midst of that great job, sometimes what happens and what I'm hearing is that those days are starting to feel long. And what was brand new and how to get situated in getting the kids doing their schoolwork or you working at home or trying to sort through the unemployment melu or to apply for a small business loan, to sort through your finances, to figure out what's a want, what's a need if there is something that you need to sell in order to maintain the food and the shelter that you need, those can get pretty tedious and frustrating and add to the uncertainty when we don't know when things will come back to any kind of normal and we get out there. So there's the wondering about out there, what's gonna be left are we going to be left in terms of our finances, our business? And that is a lot going on. And in the middle of it, when you can, be kind and generous to yourself. It doesn't mean you have to say, oh, I'm so glad people are dying and I get to be in shelter. I'm not making a joke, I really mean that is not something that I take lightly. What I am saying is that while we're all in this together and while you are where you are, if any time that you can take even an eyelash of moments and just be in your circle and realize no matter what is going on right now, that you and everyone around you, even if they're driving you crazy, is really doing the best they can to cope with an entirely new situation. It's not like one of us have the key to the door and say, oh yeah, I'm an expert at this. We are not. And matter of fact, if you look at people all around, they're not experts either. So here we are. And so appreciate that whatever you're doing, no matter how prickly you get, how frustrated, how irritated, you are doing your best. And in those spare moments, when you forget about the virus, and you have just a second of peace or a second of just not being bombarded with everything, appreciate that and know that it comes and it'll go and then it comes and it's like waves, it's like gusts of wind. We don't know how big that gust is gonna be or how huge that wave is going to be, wave is going to be at any given time. And to expect ourselves 
to be sturdy and straight and strong every second is way too high a level of expectation. We're taking this when we're at our best, one little step at a time, trying to hang on to some faith that we're going to be okay, that the people around us are going to be okay, that as many people as possible out there will be okay in the midst of finding out how many people are not okay, in the midst of finding out that maybe our finances are not okay. Lots of not okay. So if you have a second of some okayness, grab it. Say thank you and be willing to watch for the next one to come. There's a Bruce Springsteen song, and it's if I should fall behind, wait for me. And I'm going to offer that, that be part of your morning thought each day. Try it. As I always say, it's a tool. Put it in your box. Take it out, try it. If it doesn't fit for you, tuck it in, try it again later, or toss it because you'll know where to find it and only keep the tools that fit for you. So if somebody around you seems to stumble and lose their way and not be their very best, wait for them and do the same for you. If you seem to flounder, be lost and lose your way. Wait for yourself to come back, because you will, because they will. And that's the offering today, is the kindness and the gentleness of knowing no matter what, Part of our being in this together is to kind of watch off to the side and the other side and the out there and be ready to wait. Put your hand out for anyone that might be falling behind for the moment. Wait for them. They'll be back and you will be there. Good job because you're the one writing your story that you want to live here and practice and out there when you get out you are going to be ready you will be a leader you'll be rock solid in your circle you'll be bold and you will have the magnificent legacy that you would like and you'll take it with you yes ma'am yes sir all right, take care, come back, subscribe if you will. Let me know how you're doing. I really do want to know. I'm not just talking into my camera. I'm imagining that you're right there and it's the two of us. Take care. And if you fall behind, I will wait. And if I stumble, please wait for me. All right, take care. Come back tomorrow. I'll be here and I will be looking for you. Thanks. Bye.